Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files and another episode of The Beast Inside. Last time we uh, followed uh, the KGB agent into the inn that burned down. It was also in the last episode, right? No, two episodes ago. I think this this thing burned down. And that KGB agent was hiding something in a safe that we couldn't get to. Right? But now I run around a little bit and found this. A metal rod could be used as a lever, lever, whatever. Perhaps it could even lift something as heavy as a safe. Let's take it and find that safe again. I don't remember where it was. But we'll find it. Don't you worry. And find out what that K I see. What that KGB agent he? hid inside. What did he hide here? Yeah, what did you hide here, man? Let's find out. Oh, move! Look. Oh, fuck. Jesus. If it fell on me, no one would ever find me here. Nope, you would be stone dead. What is this place dead. anyway? What's in this damn safe? Let's find out. How do I open it? Maybe I can find something in this room. Okay, we need to find the combination in this room. Where we fell down. Okay. That door is blocked. Hello? What is a page from the Bible doing here? Let's find out. 12, 2, 3, maybe? For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be made known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which and that which ye have spoken in the air in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Okay. That old witch presumes she can scare us with the word of God? Where was her God all this time? What was he doing when those people were dying in the darkness? That old witch? Have the locals fallen into superstition? I can only hope they didn't burn her at the stake. Okay. 12, 2, 3. 1, 2, 2, 3. Let's try and see if that's the combination. 1, 2, 2, 3. One, two, two, three. That wasn't correct. Really? One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. Damn it. I was sure that was going to be the combination. Guess not. Maybe we can find something else in here. Somewhere. Oh, that must be it, right? Surely that's locked from the other side. Yeah. And how can we get in there? Maybe the key. Now it's locked from the other side. Yeah. Can we get in there somehow? Let's try it this way. The safe cipher must be around here somewhere. We'll keep looking. Yeah. <coughs> this man is strong as an ox. The 
Cypher must be in here, somewhere. It looks like someone noted the combination to the lock here. Which numbers do I need, though? Remember, the answer is not present. Okay. Turn left. Turn right. Holy... Holy Moses, man. How the hell am I supposed to make anything out of it? Yeah. That's a good effing question. Oh no. There must be some rhyme and reason to this, man. Remember, the answer is not present. Holy Jesus. How are we going to figure this out? I have absolutely no clue. I never said I was very smart, you know. <laughs> now we can open in here again. I need to figure out the code out from this. That is not gonna be easy, man. Could be anything, right? Numbers from the notebook. Which ones stand out? Yeah, the ones that are underlined. I don't know. But still. Unfortunately, there's no mouse pointer here, so I can't point to what I'm talking about. But where those two lines meet, maybe that's the number. Like this is nine, right? Four, zero. Okay, two last ones, zero, zero. I am pretty sure I am wrong, but <laughs> I have to try something, right? Zero. Zero. I think this was, I said this was nine, right? Now what was the top one then? Zero. Zero. Top one, four. This was nine, yeah. Okay. Let's try it out. Four? Damn it. These puzzles, man. They are hard. They are effing hard, man. Some of them will make up the cipher. Let's see. Yeah. Some of them make up the cipher. Of course. How the F do we make sense of this? Okay, I think the bottom two is five, eight, three. Eight, three, five, five. Let's try that. Please. Eight, three, five, five. Damn it. Got 
because there was a little dot on there. But that would be too easy, yeah? Yeah, A355. That was wrong. How the F do we make sense of this? I have absolutely no clue. This page, I guess, must help us somehow. Right? Oh, come on. Do you guys make any sense of this? I sure don't. So many numbers. Which number stands out? That's a good effing question. None of them stands out, right? Right? Someone added a note in the notebook. The answer is not present. Looks like a hint. There's something missing. The answer is not present. The answer is not present. But there must be some missing numbers here. Or a missing number on each page. Answer is not present. Now I feel dumb dumb again. Come on. God damn it. Give me some more hints, please. <laughs> Oh man. How much does this suck? <laughs> Very much, I tell you. The answer is not present. So the answer is not here, but <laughs> it must be here. Say some more. Say something. Give me more hints, please. This will be the whole episode. Just me looking at this book and trying to make sense of this. Answer is not present. Okay. How the F does that to help me? Remember, the answer is not present. Those numbers in the journal don't seem to be random. 
Maybe I should look for what could be missing. I'll take another look. They're not random. No. Sure as F look random. You know what? I I don't give a damn. This episode is going to be too long if I am going to sit here and try and make sense of this. So I'm going to cheat or try to and try and see if I can Google the combination. <laughs> um, save code. Not that one. Is this the tower safe? No. Sure is not. Save code burned in. Come on. Oh no. What the F is the code? Have you figured it out yet? I sure as hell haven't. Show it to me. I think I found the right video. I don't care, man. Uh, it's the same in the description here. I just want the pure answer, dude. I don't care. <laughs> Seven? Seven, five, one. Seven, five, one, six. What did I say? Seven five one six. Yay! There, finally. This is gonna be a way too long episode, guys. If I am gonna sit there and figure these puzzles out, you know. We are here for the jump scares and the horror, right? Not this puzzle solving. So that's how it's gonna be. The judge tried to strangle me, 
and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and mask. He killed Judge Norton right in front of me. He cut his throat. It looks like he was trying to save me. But why? That's a good question. Now we're back to Christ, now his grand grandfather or something. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Room Easy. 207. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective! What's going on here? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices, there are so many of them. How are you hearing voices? I, I think I've heard this conversation before. They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. Who was Walter he Gilman? Was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk, I can find out his room number. Yeah. What's this? It's stuck for good. That's no use. Okay. That gun is stuck for good. Get to the reception area. All right, it. That's here. Got some money? <laughs> no, I think it was. I don't think that was money. It's him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Yeah. Who was Gilman? Why was he looking for Norton? Didn't trust the sheriff? I guess not. In room number, and we can't see the room number. Damn it! <laughs> the missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Who's this was the Walter Gilman guy? He kept the reception keys. Room 207. Okay, let's find room 207. This game is pretty confusing, right? Oh, oh wow! Holy toaster, that scared the shit out of me. Hello? It's like some kind of demonic voice. And footsteps. Hello? Turn on some lights. All these doors are blocked. Hello? I'm not alone. Uh, I'm sorry, I, sca I sing when I'm nervous or scared or whatever. This game is effing creepy, man. What room was it again? 207, right? There must be on second floor, surely. But what is that arrow pointing from 109 to 30? Is that demonic voice? Hello? Should we follow this ghost, spirit, or whatever it is? Hello?
This game is fucking creepy, man. God, who is this? What is he doing here? I don't know. Let's try and find out. Hello? Room 207. Okay, you're right. Right there, yeah? Too well. Her running footsteps. Two oh nine. Two oh eight. But this must be two oh seven, right? Damn, there's a chain. Whoa! So sharp. Oh shit, Maybe man. I could use it to cut through the chain. I'm getting a heart attack, man. There's room 208. Yeah, but how do I get in there? Hello? How would I get in there, man? Can I move this? Something? And find a hidden door? I'm dying of a heart attack from this game, dude. <laughs> Nothing under here? No? Can't get in there. Whoa, holy crap, man! The jump scares in this game, man. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Yeah, Christ. probably. What have I gotten into? This game is scary as shit. Hello? Someone was knocking on the door. What we, did we do that for? I don't know. Okay, we were supposed to find something in this room, yeah? 208. Okay. Locked, locked. There's definitely nothing in here. So why did we push this over? What did that do? Aha! Oh, look at this blood, man. Hello? What the hell is this? Looks like holy crap, a slaughter. It's a slaughterhouse. God. Something's wrong here. No shit, man. Better grab that tool and get out of here. A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles, such as chains or padlocks. You should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. Yeah. Look at this, what happened here, man? Let's check if there's anything useful in here. Okay. You can read this if you want. Can't get over how much blood there is in this room. Man. This is a horror game and a half. It was here, yeah? 207. Let's get it open. Hello? 
Hello? I think we have to find a key in here, right? Nothing in these cigar boxes. No? Got some kerosene. I'm so nervous of what's going to happen next, you know. There's jump scare after jump scare in, in this chapter, it looks like. Let's have a drink. You sure need it, man. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. Now it's eternity. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. It's locked. <laughs> I didn't see him there, man. Set of keys can be used to access room 106 and the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Awesome. Oh. I'm dying here, man. Feel sorry for the poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. Mr. Jacobs keep telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I am seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bar. Mr. Jacobs says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back. My god, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. You know what? I will probably turn to drinking as well. You alright man? Let's get the F out of here, I guess. You know? <laughs> the dumb one. Oh! I guess we're not going that way. Right? This place is haunted as F. Can we go out this way maybe? A key, a key for room 106 and the B-Wing. Please close this so it's not making noise. Hello? Oh, how did we fill up the... Need to find kerosene here. Yeah? Use. Use, use, and use. Awesome. I can't read that. And more keys. Can be used to open wing A. And we have keys to... Oh! Is this a ghost? What Shit, man. Oh, fuck, man. 
I'm too old to play this game, you know. I, I, I'll die of heart attack. I mean, I have that age. Looks like the janitor had serious problem with one of the guests. That fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. Guess where we have to go. Exactly. The B-Wing. Anchor. That was easy, you just get the answer. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. That was an easy puzzle. I don't know if we have to go straight in there or check some stuff out here. Let's first make an escape room, if you have to escape <laughs> the B-Wing very quickly. May God watch over you if you have to enter the B-Wing. I don't like that music. We can go from here, eh? That's weird. Ah, we have to use this for something. Ah, to get up there, of course. Eh? Oh, there's that poor guy. Are you alright, mate? This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Yeah. He died a long time ago. Holy toaster, man. Imagine being the one walking around in here. <laughs> Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned on assassination of the president. Thankfully, he is dead now. But, mo but who might have killed him? The janitor, right? John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those, I'm not gonna say that word, those end loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition. 
so the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James Wilk Boots. So, the Union uniform is just a disguise. It's yeah. all getting more and more mysterious. It's a mystery. Okay, this episode has gone on for long enough and I need to recover from all the jump scares. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Right? Until next time, bye bye.